right folks good afternoon yes you find me here in our growth where I was coming to um, to come to the jam place the Mackay's jam factory just up the road there but there's been this massive tailback here at the Arbroath Elliot sort of roundabout so I don't know what's happened here folks and I, I kind of tried to be clever and come on the outside lane and go round the roundabout back out again but it's just totally blocked in all directions man so I don't know what's going on whether there's been a crash or something's the lights have gone funny I don't know but the, the, you never get queues like this at this roundabout man it's going all the way back miles away there all the way back so I'm just going to take a wee stroll I'm going to park here in the golf course car park and uh, Take a stroll along this way, see what see what happens. Way down here. This is where the big problem is right here. Look at this. The bottleneck started right there. So folks once again you can see the queue back right over there. this tailback right here but I'm glad I kind of got out of it and just uh, parked at the golf course I'm gonna go for a little walk along to the the Elliott uh, bridge up here so we get a better view of it along here but yes as you can see some people are in tune the horns whether they're annoyed at me video or whether they they know me I don't know I'm actually walking uh, faster than the, the traffic folks yes, I am. There we look. Now, this is quite an unusual bridge here, I tell you, because it's got a, a dip in the middle, which I've never really seen anything like this before. So you can get really down close here to the rail track. Now, there was a massive disaster just over there. This is the Elliott Junction disaster that Bro keeps harping on about. He wants to get a plaque put over there. It was an absolute tragedy, loss of lives in there. It was really snowy conditions and the, uh, the train driver, is it George Christie his name or something? He was supposed to be drunk. Um, so there's a lack of communication back in the day. This happened way back in the, what coming, what day it was now, I'll find out. But uh, yeah, so lack of, lack of communications, severe weather conditions, and perhaps drunk train driver added to the confusion of the Elliott Junction disaster, right? But the Elliott Junction disaster of today seems to still be going on, folks. I just do not know what's happening. Anyway, there we go. Oh, yes. Now, the Elliott Junction disaster happened on the uh, in December 1906, folks. Um, so this is. 2017 so 101 years later 111 years later sorry we have another disaster going on here so this has been like half an hour this has been kicking on so as I said I'm glad I just tried to get out of it at the golf course round but I would have still been sort of maybe just going up to the Asda what I was trying to do was go to the jam factory and get some um, some jam cheap jam at Mackay's but I'm glad I kind of turned off now so I don't think I'll be I'll be heading up there today unless this this clears in the next half an hour but no it's still still there folks Jack Betty reporting live at the Elliott Junction disaster of 2017